Everything technology, from computers to mobile phones, TVs and the internet. Information you want, all the help you need. Your Tech Life with Trevor Long. Okay, welcome to Your Tech Life. And uh, today we're inside the Series 2 Commodore. Let's take a look at the IQ Entertainment System from Holden. It's a standard across the range of all Series 2 Commodores. Now, if you, if you take the option, the uh, Series 2 6.5-inch screen in dash will also allow you to have a reversing camera um, with reversing sensors as well. Um, built into the dashboard, this is a great piece of technology um, and, frankly, should be standard across all cars. So let me give you a quick overview of the Holden IQ system. Essentially, what we've got is, a, as I said, a 6.5-inch uh, colour touchscreen in the centre of the console, and it's standard across all Commodores, Bellinas, Calais, or the whole range of uh, VE Series 2 Commodores. Um, essentially, you've got radio, FM, AM, but you've got a whole stack of multimedia potential as well. CD input, USB input, iPod connectivity, Bluetooth streaming audio, and the ability to actually store tracks, CDs, and their tracks on the actual system in the internal hard drive. That's a whole lot of options possible, but in essence, only a couple of them are useful together. Uh, for example, you can't do Bluetooth streaming at the same time as you have an iPod connectivity, but why would you want to? So what I'll do is I'll pull over and we'll take a look at the advanced features of the, uh, the touchscreen system in some more detail. Okay, so let's look at the audio options that we actually have in the vehicle. So obviously you have your AM and your FM. Uh, radio under the radio option AM FM and pressing the radio button flicks you between the two um, and I think most crucially and this is something I first saw in Saabs a few years ago you can not just store 5 AM 6 AM and 6 FM you have several sets of favorites um, three sets of favorites so there's five there's 15 presets but they can be AM and FM so I've got AM station AM station FM station all within touch. So basically I can go from an AM station to an FM station preset at the touch of a bus button. Look, I know it doesn't sound like much, but when you're driving along and you want to flip between talk radio and music radio or the like, it makes a huge difference. Now you can see up here in the corner I've got um, I've got my Bluetooth phone already paired. Um, I'm getting both a signal strength and a battery indicator from the phone on the screen, which is great. Never have to refer to the phone. Could keep that in my bag. Now, with the phone paired already, um, I'll show you the first and probably one of the coolest features, and that is when we go into media and we choose audio, um, Bluetooth audio, um, you can see here that it brings up the Bluetooth streaming option, and that is now playing audio directly off my, um, my phone. Now, if I show you here, um, I can go into my media, into my music, and look at now playing. And that's the song that's playing. I can control the audio from here at the click of a button. So, passenger could be doing that, or the phone can be out of sight, and I can flip between tracks right here on the screen. You don't get uh, track information displaying on the screen with Bluetooth audio. It's basically a massive convenience factor. Um, so being able to flip between um, your songs here, you can load up a playlist and, and just play directly from a playlist if you choose. So that's Bluetooth audio streaming. Now probably one of the most common things that people will do uh, in the IQ system, I think, would be to connect an iPod or iPhone um, using a normal iPhone, iPod connectivity, uh, normal cable. And inside the center console here are all the main connectors. And so you've got your iPod connection here. I just plug that in there. And on the screen, it'll begin the connection to the iPod. Now, the iPod can basically, and I find it best, can just live in that center console. Because you never need to look at the screen of the iPod. You have full iPod control on the iQ system. And what do I mean by that? I can browse my playlists, my artist album songs, all these kind of things. So I can go straight to my favorite playlist, straight down to my favorite songs, and off we go. We're playing the songs straight away, straight off the iPod, and I get the on-screen um, information, song, artist, and album. Now, probably the biggest negative about the system, other than the fact that it is a, it's a resi resistive touchscreen, so it's not the most responsive, but you do get used to actually pushing it as opposed to touching it like you would an iPod or an iPhone. Um, if you've got 
a lot of songs, which most people do, there is no page down on the on the list. So you'll see here, if I, I'm on A under artists, if I want to go down to Z, I've got a long way to go. So there's a lot of clicking to do for, for most likely the passenger if you want to find a particular track. That's, in my opinion, probably the, the most negative thing I can tell you about it. And frankly, it should be upgradable with a software upgrade. Let's just hope that uh, Holden puts some effort into firmware upgrades. You know, when you get your next service done, you get some small improvements to it like that. Importantly, when you've got an iPod connected, you can't do Bluetooth audio streaming. So that's now not available to me while the iPod is connected. Now, if we disconnect the iPod and we look at, for example, a USB drive. So you could have a USB drive or a USB MP3 player. I can plug this into the same place I plugged in the iPod. That will, on screen, it will come up reading the media. And it will not only show me the tracks, but it will again show me track, artist, and album information. Again, this is really useful stuff. Browsing the tracks. The track names come up here in terms of the, the file names. But the data on the MP3 file, the ID3 tags, are coming up on screen. And I created this flash drive by simply putting the flash drive on my computer and dragging and dropping from iTunes onto the drive um, these songs. Pretty awesome stuff. Uh, really easy to use. You've got repeat and, uh, and random, uh, on all your normal audio controls, which, you, which you'd be familiar with. Now, of course, on top of that, we've got our normal CD connectivity. Obviously, I don't have a disc here at the moment, but most importantly, you have the ability to go stored CD. So if you put a CD in the system, you can then rip that CD into the internal hard drive, which is, it's, it stores, I think, around 15 CDs. Um, now, the advantage here is if you forget your iPod, you forget your phone, you forget that CD, the kids are never going to go without the music. And that's what we've done, is put our kids' music on the stored CD so that it doesn't matter what's connected, you've got that connectivity. Now looking through the configuration just quickly, um, there is a, the sensitivity around the auto seek, there's Bluetooth uh, configuration to unpair and pair new devices, um, you've got the option of, of actually setting the rear view camera to be used or not, um, which automatically comes into play as soon as you engage reverse gear, um, and as I say, I think that's a wonderful feature and, and recommend that to everyone. If you have map and navigation, that'll come up here and built in. I didn't take that option. Don't feel I need it. Um, also, under uh, under the configuration is where you set your, your fader, your treble, bass, and all those kind of things. So they're all touchscreen controls right here in the Holden IQ system. Um, and you'll also notice on uh, FM, there's full RDS coming through. So with, uh, let me find a station today, FM, uh, you'll get the station name come up, and you'll get song uh, and an artist name as well coming up through RDS on the um, FM radio. And of course, let's not forget that with the Bluetooth connected, you've got full phone connectivity here. So um, when I bring up the phone options, I, um, I can do all my phone controls. I can make calls from the dash. Um, I can see the call number as it comes through. Basically, your phone can stay in your bag or in your pocket all the time. So look, it's a great system, controlled through the steering wheel as well, you know, your up, up and down tracks and volume, but essentially with the amount of connectivity here, CD, USB, iPod, Bluetooth streaming audio, and, and a hard drive with stored CDs in it, this is a compelling option, and it is 10,000 miles better than what was in the original VE Commodore.